Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, Lord Aaron here of the Aaron Gaming Network, and welcome back to Jack and Dexter 1, the Precursor Legacy. We are now in... Pardon me, my ear was itching. Fire Canyon! Let's kick ass. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees. So try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot. So keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Sweet. This sounds like it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, we cannot let the zoomer get to, uh... Hit those balloons to cool off! Whoa, we got Dark Eco. Alright, and we definitely want to stay from over the lava. There's scout flies out here, too! Oh, I missed the balloon. But what's this? Right on the raised precursor stuff to keep us cool. Okay, that's an epic fail. See if we can catch air off those lurkers! Alright. Oh, God. Whoa! Also is causing a lot of lag. You heard Kira's voice kind of crack there. So the quicker I get out of this place, the better. At least they checkpoint all your items, though. This thing is so hard to control! I love Daxter's animation, <laughs> he just kind of bounces on top of Jack. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Why can't I ever hit that one? Fuck. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to press R1. say this shit, but they don't teach you how to use it. You are trying to avoid those dark eco boxes, right? Fuck, 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 fuck. But I'm trying to get all the scout flies, so I had to go back for that one. I didn't even drink my fucking coffee.
All right. The fire canyon is complete. 100%. So the fire canyon is done. Yes. Rock village. Finally, some new areas to explore and a new village. See the teleporter is off. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, and come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. Did you see that Jack was looking at Kira's ass whenever she was bending over? Man after my own heart, I'm a booty man myself. Girls love it when you spread those cheeks and smell that stink hole. Mmm. Alright. I hear... Yep, there it is. Okay, we got our first scout fly. Until we find out why the Blue Sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Go get him. All right. We have 36. There's a blue eco vent. Interesting. You two look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? All right, well, we can get one of those right now. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. All right, that's a good way to start. But now I'm broke again. We got another oracle. It's probably gonna require another 120. Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. The dark light? Okay. Whatever you say. All right, I found some uh, some blue eco, but it only appears to be now one. I can get back to my research. Yes, Laura Croft. Okay, the thing is, the vent is over there, but I don't know if this is going to be enough blue eco to, uh, to activate it. 
I need at least two of these, I think. Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Oh, there's another one. Mm, interesting strata. Interesting what now? What? I guess those rocks you can't touch. Well, that actually was a good death because it put me right where I was supposed to be. Oh no, not another hero. I lost my shorts on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. But trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That wager pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. But that, I'll give you another power cell. Great. <laughs> <laughs> what the freak? Oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the Boulder Bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! <laughs> After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way? But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> all right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. <laughs> Greedy fucking assholes. Everybody wants 90 precursor orbs. Fucking greedy ass motherfuckers, man. Now I can get back to my research. Yes, Laura, we heard you the first time. I actually can't wait for the new uh, Tomb Raider game to come out. I'm a huge fan. Go, Jack. God, fam it. Butter, cookie crunch. They're not making this easy. I wish Jack could run.
Yeah, that'd be great if you could run. You got to be fucking. You know what? I'm not doing it. I'm start now. I'm getting aggravated. Like seriously. All right, let's see what's over here. More of this crap. Those flying lurkers. He might have a power cell. Am I supposed to catch these? I guess not, because I didn't do anything. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Avoid the dark ego boxes! I think I'm supposed to lead them back into their hole or something. Purple shithole so fast. There we go. We got one. I think I'm supposed to lead them into their hole or something. Over here, you stupid shithead. In the hole. In the hole. You went over the hole, you dumb shit. You. Get in there. You. Where is he? Or is she? If they're blind, how, how come they can see? Hold on, let me get these precursor boxes. Come on! No, not that way! Let's go get our power cell from the geologist. Yes. Pretty ballsy of Naughty Dog to make a whole section, a vehicle section. But I like it, because you can move a lot faster. And I just got a trophy called Buzzed. gives us plenty of uh, precursor orbs. We need them. We're going to need a shit ton of them, actually. The hell? What is that, marijuana? 
How? I think I saw a healing. Yeah, green eco here. Got four. Get over here, you fat fuck. What was that? Some type of glitch, probably. Why is everything so goddamn fast? I hate chases, man. Especially when you're chasing something that's as ridiculous looking as this thing. And you know damn well it shouldn't be nearly as fast as it is. Get your ass over here, dumbass. Picked a good place to go. There's lots of precursor orbs here. Really? Really? How many of them are there? Too many. Do you see the bullshit how he was sleep and then wakes up at full flight? Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Kira. All right, now. I'm more worried about the precursor orbs here. Getting all of them might be tricky. One ring down, a bunch to go. Now, this is an annoying one. Because if you're not fast enough, I think the rings disappear. So it would definitely be nice to have this on over with. Fuck! At least I think they disappear. Don't fall. Yes! They call that trope, they call that trophy Purple Pain. Obviously a spoof on Prince's legendary song, Purple Rain. If he was alive and he knew about that trophy, he probably would have tried to sue Naughty Dog. Prince, he was kind of known for, for that kind of stuff. 
suing folks who even slightly use something that slightly sound like something he did. Great, it's nighttime now in the game. Right, this is going to be a little tricky because we have to stay on these platforms here, so I'm going to have to go slow. Only one more to find, and now there's a blue ring. I don't know what that's all about. Easier to do this one on foot. I think. can be really annoying sometimes but that's all right I like a challenge you don't want it to be too easy in Jack 2. That game is going to bring my blood pressure to its limits. I already know. I hate that fucking game. Five more power cells to get to the next area, but of course, I'm going to be doing the whole shebang bang. Oh no! That was much farther away than I thought it was. How am I supposed to get that? I have to end this here because I'm starting to get aggravated now. And once I start getting pissed, I need to uh, take a break. Long gone are the days where I throw my controller. You know, if I get mad, I just I just take a break. Just take you know a quick breather, get something to eat, get something to drink, relax, come back later. when something's uh, aggravating you in a video game. You're jumping too far, you dumb shit! Control the fucking vehicle!
I did that on purpose. I'm just sick of that box. All right. Now, in order to get this, we're going to have to be really fast. Jump at the right time! Oh! Woo! Exhilarating. All right. So we did good. How the hell are you supposed to kill these things? I'm not even going to worry about it right now. All right, let's see here. Uh, we only got... Okay, we got to navigate the blue rings as well. But anyway, I'm going to stop here, take a little break, and come back. Thank you for watching, guys. Godspeed.